For those in the audience getting to know you for the very first time, care to share where you were born? Uh, Augusta, Georgia. And care to share where you were raised? <clears throat> Augusta, Georgia. And does it get any more specific than that in Augusta for you? Nah. And what age did that raising start for you? As soon as I was born. And still reside in Augusta today? Nah, I live in, I'm banned from Augusta. I live in Atlanta. And what age did that happen? I got banned. Yes. 18. And when you say banned, can you shed some more light on that? Like, I'm just banned. I can't go there. Like a self-imposed ban? A, a oh. local ban? Oh, a, a judge ban. A ban from the judge. And care to share the reasoning why? Nah. So you moved when you were 18 to Atlanta? Yeah, yeah. And why Atlanta of all places? Because it's two hours away from Augusta. Now, what was that really like growing up in Augusta for you? Uh, up until the age of 18. I was cool. Just, it was cool just playing around, just living. It was great. And how were you able to survive that upbringing? Man, yeah, smart. Now, there are some people who say things like, don't know if I make it to see the age of 18. Yeah. Or 21. Yeah. Maybe 25. Yeah. Did you have any of these thoughts yourself growing nah. up in that environment? Nah. Knowing what you know now, hypothetically speaking, what would you have said to your younger self back then, if anything? Uh, be focused. Now, did you grow up in a two-parent household? No. Well, my, my stepdad. What age does your stepdad enter the picture? I can't remember, like, young. Now, before your stepdad enters the picture, what was the reason for the split between your biological parents? I don't know. Were they ever married, technically speaking? My stepdad and my mom. No, your biological father and your mom. Oh, no. Okay. And do you remember what age you were at the time when they split? No, I don't remember. And what was that like coping with the split of your parents for you? Ready. Now, when it comes to your biological father, yeah. was, was he still in your life? Did he remain in your life? Yeah. Would there be times you would live under his roof at all? Yeah. Sometimes, summertime, and holidays. So if there was a circle chart of 100%, what percentage would you say was under the roof of your mother versus the roof of your father? I don't know. I can't say. But more so on, under the roof of your mother. I can't say. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. When it comes to your stepfather, is he still in your life today? Yeah. They married. Okay. And... When it comes to the split of one's parents, that can be a traumatic experience for some. Mm -hmm. Mentally and or emotionally, has this been something you ever sought any professional help over? No. Why not? Some people do. Because, I don't know. I was brought up tough. Do you want any professional help with it? Nah. Now, what did that teach you? What did you learn from that upbringing? The split of your parents, having a step-parent in your life, what did you take away from that, if uh, anything? That just made me ready for the real world, probably. Now, circumstances could be different for everyone, so generally speaking here. But let's say someone's listening or watching this interview, and they're dealing with the split of their own parents, or a step-parent in their life. Anything you would say to them? It's normal. I don't know. I think it's normal. It's normal. Anything else on this topic of a split or a step parent? No. Nah. Now, what about siblings? Did you have any siblings? Yeah. And how many same mother and father as you? I don't know. I got a lot. My mama got six. I got a lot all together. I don't know. 
Was there a lot of them? When it was the roof of your uh, mother and step parent, how many uh, siblings would you be living with? I don't know. It's a lot of them. Over 10. Brothers and sisters? Yeah. What would the living arrangements be like when it was over 10? <laughs> nah, that never happened. But it would be a lot. It would be. We wouldn't have enough room. <laughs> we wouldn't have enough room. How would you cope with that? I don't know. I just take a regular life. And where did you fit on that ladder of siblings? Were you towards the oldest, in the middle, towards the youngest? I'm in the middle, on both sides. What was that like being in the middle, the middle child? I get treated like the oldest, though. Not, I don't get treated like the oldest, oldest. I just get treated like the oldest. I don't get little, like a little brother. Now, circumstances could be different for everyone once again, but generally speaking, let's say someone's listening or watching this interview, and they're the middle child, or they're the middle one yeah. amongst their siblings. Anything you would say to them, from one middle sibling to another? We, the middle child probably supposed to hold the family together. Yeah. Now, were you the only member of your family to go the music route? Yeah. What's been that reaction from other family members to that career choice of yours? Yeah, they like music. What's been their feedback specifically to your music? They love, they love my music. 